Okay, there has been a long polemic, essentially, about what's called the the black holes. The people with, with some people started to make argument that, given the the high energy in which this machine is running, which is the highest energy produced in those accelerating the world, he could create black hole who would swallow uh, essentially the laboratory Geneva, Switzerland, and the universe. Um, this there. This is certainly not the case because on on those galactic scale for black hole, the energy which is produced by the accelerator is quite of tiny, tiny, really tiny. And then the best demonstration that it would not be the case is the fact that constantly Earth is hit by cosmic rays coming from the uh, the galaxies or extra galactic. Um, uh, objects and those uh, those cosmic rays are very very much more energetic than uh, the energy that we can produce at CERN so if that would be the case that if black holes could be produced by such interaction it would have been the case for a long time already and earth would not exist so that's demonstration that uh, at the energy in which we will be running there is no possibility to form such objects so there is no danger at all To find, a, you know, the, a particle can exist, but if, depending on its lifetime, you may detect it or not detect it. So, uh, presumably, what we believe that if the Higgs exists, we will detect it uh, during, uh, probably during next year. Now, the Higgs is the last particle which is missing in the model which regulates particle physics called the standard model. This model contains the, the leptons, namely the electrons, the little particle which gravitate around the, the nucleus. It contains uh, what is known, the quarks, and in this model, uh, there is one particle which has not been discovered, which is the Higgs. So to discover the Higgs would actually confirm the support of the model as being a correct model. It is still a model. Now, uh, if the Higgs is not discovered, either it does not exist or we have not found it. It's two different things. If it's very difficult to prove that something does not exist. If it would be proven that the Higgs does not exist, then the model of particle physics would be in trouble, of course. If it exists, the standard model will be the best model that we know. Now, the main question is probably not the Higgs because the standard model is a pretty solid model for many many years so everybody believed that the Higgs will be produced and will be discovered the main question is to know is there anything else by anything else what we mean is there any new generation of particle in our world Either there is a new generation of particle, and effectively at those energy, the LHC will be able to discover such phenomenon, or there is none. If there is none, then it would mean that the understanding of particle physics, although it's a model, is pretty complete. And then, uh, in order to find new fact, one would have to raise t the energy to a level which would be impossible to do on, on the Earth. It's called the, the, to a mass which is enormous, called the Max Planck, which is unreachable. Even if you would build an accelerator which would go around the Earth, you would not be able to produce such energy. So it's a great challenge, it's a great question. Is the domain fully understood with the discover, discovery of the Higgs, or is there something else? Those processes that we are looking for are uh, very rare in nature. All the other processes, of course, have been discovered. Those one have a probability of happening which is very, very small. So it requires to collect a lot of data in order to be able to find, like, it's like a, not a needle in, uh, in a pile of hay, but it's, a, you know, it's a drop uh, in, the, in the ocean uh, to find. So we have to run the accelerator for some time in order to find it. And uh, right now the accelerator is working. It has been restarting quite successfully 
way. After all the work we did and consolidation we did in it, it restarted at the end of February and it is intended that he will run through the year and also through the year uh, 2011. And by the end of 2011, we will have accumulated the biggest amount of data in the world at this uh, energy. And probably with such amount of data, we will be able to find those new processes. So uh, those big discovery cannot be expected this year, but next year. Romanian so far was not really part of CERN, although collaboration with Romania uh, is coming already in 1990s. So I collaborate closely in my uh, department uh, with Romanian uh, physicist and engineer, a, a woman mechanical engineer, which is an excellent engineer, and also a radio uh, chemist from uh, Bucharest, which is, who is a specialist of the phenomenon of uh, irradiation. Uh, materials and I've collaborated with them. In addition, there are more than 50 scientists from Romania collaborating with CERN uh, and they have been participating a lot and uh, made essential contribution in the construction of the detector for the, for the LHC. So the, the history of Romania uh, with CERN is 20 years um, old, quite successfully, I'd say. Lately, Romania has been admitted unanimously by Romania and CERN as being a candidate for its uh, next full access as a full member of CERN. This is a procedure which will take five years, but during those five years there are additional uh, possibilities which are open now for Romania. Uh, the, the young students can come to have a thesis under the CERN programs at CERN. Uh, Romania can also send uh, fellows and a scientific uh, associate. Romanian physicists will benefit from all possibilities is offered by CERN, like all uh, users in in the world, and also um, the industries in Romania will be able to apply to the offers for construction uh, uh, opened by by CERN. So there will be an advantage also for the Romanian uh, industries. Zen uh, Zen is. Essential, I would say Zen is a practice of life. At the, right at the start, Zen is a, a practice of, of meditation where you, you meditate uh, with your body and your mind. And uh, it will, it of course, had sort of merits in the uh, in the daily daily life. It's a practice of peace, of quietness, of helping uh, to understand oneself, know oneself, and when you know oneself, obviously you'll be more open to the to the other, to the external world. So. It, it has some uh, philosophical aspect, some sp it's a spiritual practice, uh, which is not a religion, it cannot be restricted of being only a philosophy. It's a practice which uh, brings together the entire being of a human being. <laughs>